Hi, everybody. My name is Susan Layton, and I'm a cloud solution architect working at Microsoft. Welcome to our Everyone Can Code workshop, and thank you for joining us. This short presentation will provide you with a basic introduction to databases. A database will be used for the to-do list application you are building today and tomorrow. Data is the lifeblood of modern applications, but it can be frustrating and complicated. Applications need data, even the simplest apps to the most complex. Data needs to be understood. What type is the data? Is it text, numeric, images, something else? And how is the data related? How does data get created, updated, and deleted? Who can access the data? Who can only read the data? And who's allowed to update the data? We will talk about databases and the data stored in them for application development. Why should we use databases? Well, databases offer many benefits over traditional file-based data management. A database is a collection of data that is organized and structured in a particular way. It can be used to store and manage all kinds of information from simple lists to complex data sets. Databases also provide a central location for storing the data, which means that information can be shared easily between different applications and users. Databases also offer powerful querying and filtering capabilities, enabling us to retrieve data based upon specific criteria, regardless of the volume of the data. There are many types of databases. There's traditional relationship, relational, non-relational called NoSQL, graph, and object-oriented databases. Each type serves a specific purpose depending upon the use case. Database basics. So here are the basics of what's under the hood of databases. As we said, a relational database is a collection of organized data. The data is stored in tables. Think of these as rows of data, all structured the same way, like having a telephone list with a column for a name and a column for a phone number. The tables can be linked through relationships using keys to help us organize the data and find the data through very powerful capabilities to run queries and filter the data. There are different types of relationships that connect records from different tables. A specific language, a relational database language, is used to communicate with a relational database. This language has commands that are used to create or delete a database, create or delete tables, insert or delete records, update records, query records, etc. Here is an example of a very simple database with a single table. This is like how you started the current app in building a to-do list. It is very basic though, containing only the actual items to do. It does not contain other items which might be important, like due dates, how much time each item will require, whether any items are dependent upon any others, and multi-user capability. But even so, it is a table containing multiple records. Here is another example of a more complex database containing two tables, a table of to-do items again, and an identification number associated with each of those items, as well as a second table containing team members. Like the to-do table, the team members table also associates an identification number with each member. You'll also notice that there are some arrows between the two tables. Those arrows are showing the relationship between a record in the team members table and the to-do items that are related to the individual in the team members table. Those ID numbers or keys are the glue that links the team members to their specific to-do items and provides for fast retrieval rather than looking through every record and all of the data fields associated with a record. And here is a diagram showing an even larger database with many tables of records, each one containing many fields of data. And there are many relationships between the fields in the tables and other tables. 
For real world commercial apps, it would not be unusual at all to see hundreds and hundreds of tables and the tables containing millions of records. I hope by now you can appreciate how the complexity of a database can grow depending upon its use. There are many types of databases available, each with its own features, strengths, and weaknesses. Some popular databases include MySQL, PostgreSQL, MongoDB, and Oracle. In this presentation, we will focus on another very popular database, Azure SQL Database, a cloud-based database service provided by Microsoft that will be used later in the workshop. Azure SQL databases are fully managed cloud databases that offer advanced security features, built-in high availability to keep things up and running, and scalability in order to easily and reliably grow as your data needs and volume change. They run in the Azure cloud around the world, and also both relational and non-relational data is supported. Once you make the connection to an Azure SQL database using a connection string, you will be able to interact with the data stored in it, assuming you have an appropriate role that is entitled to access the data. We're not there yet in our workshop, but Azure SQL database will be used with our to-do list app when we migrate that app to the Azure cloud. For those who like details, Behind the scenes, we are using SQLite as our embedded SQL database engine for the to list app being built. SQL stands for Structured Query Language and is the most known database management and query language in the world. As the most used database engine globally, you are probably carrying a mobile phone right now that has SQLite built in, as well as in numerous apps you're probably running on your home and school computers. Since it is in the public domain, SQLite is free for anybody to use. It was initially created in 2000, and the developer's intent is to support it until 2050, keeping it backward compatible in order to avoid breaking other software, which depends upon its functionality. SQLite gives us a fast, easy way to integrate a database with our Python code, providing us with what we need for our to-do list application. In conclusion, databases are a powerful tool for storing and managing data. Azure SQL databases offer advanced features, security and scalability, making them an excellent choice for many applications that you're running in the cloud. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation and learned more about the world of databases. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your workshop.